Bradford Anderson. Yo, dude. We got a great guest today, and he's becoming kind of a regular guest on our show. I which know. Is who'd have amazing. thunk? Who'd have, who'd have thunk we'd be so lucky? I know. It's this awesome. That's no, that's <laughs> awesome, dummy. <laughs> that's awesome. Maurice Bernard's joining us today. What's up, Maurice? What a, oh, that was a good one. What's dude. going on, man? Hey, dude. How you guys? How you I hate looking at this when I'm looking at this. Okay, well, look so, wherever you want. Dude. Look wherever you look. Yeah. You, your profile is just as nice as your front on. Hi. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. All right. Hi. How you doing, dude? I'm doing fantastic. How you doing? Yeah, man. We feel good. We feel good. Glad to see you're keeping warm in your leather jacket there. That's a well, nice it's not let. I don't know what it is, man. It's just like uh it's probably like uh, the one I wear when we're on the road, just come some kind of plastic something, but it looks yeah, it's good. Like, <laughs> it's like plush. What do they call plush? No. Polyester, whatever. I don't yeah, know. Whatever, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's shiny and sexy though. That's what I'm hey, saying. Hey, so there's a few reasons you're here today with us, but Let's let's just go through a few things like how how's how's state of mind going? You know, I mean, it's been how you've been doing it for what now? How long? Uh, state of mind. Well, uh, YouTube, not about six months, but all together from sure. and about two years. And, and you've been getting some two awesome years. guests. Wow. Yeah, it's been good. It's been good. And uh, I try to we're, we're just improving it with my friend here uh sergio he's the he's the camera guy you met him yeah. yesterday no it looks and, great man it, it, the stuff i see on youtube now looks fantastic and my just yeah. tries to get in on everything dude yeah i know i just our, had to shoot another scene with him today it's our ridiculous. friend majid i know he's telling you what to do during scenes. Oh, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like i'm like this isn't gonna end well for majid at all like not at all this dude today well, let me can i just tell you one thing man yeah go ahead dude what this joker did today <laughs> no no i gotta tell you this man so i'm cutting it with surge right i'm cutting the movie and stuff yeah. or the whatever, whatever it is and and i just cut it, it's the it, it, the whole thing is funny so i cut margin out right <laughs> of a scene said, yeah, yeah kind of like that the last half and I said, Serge, cut him out, cut him, cut him. So then Majid comes in and we're showing him what we cut. And all of a sudden I see the seeds back. <laughs> the seeds back in. <laughs> it's back in because I think Sergio knew that Majid was going to see it. Oh, that's hilarious. And, and then I'm like, what the hell's going on? I said, yeah. I cut that, cut that. And then little, and then, and then, and then Majid's all quiet. Dude, and then dude, he's in the corner over there. And he's quiet because, you know, we had a, I cut him out and he's, he keeps going. Yeah, but I think you made it. <laughs> you know what, you, dude, you know what this reminds me of? When I was, when I was, I'd visit my dad. He had a friend who was an actor who did a movie, literally did the movie, went to see the movie. And it was a whole other actor in the movie. They didn't tell him <laughs> at all. They didn't tell him. So, oh. so when we see this birthday presentation celebration of yours presentation a celebration presentation the presentation celebration yeah but 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 he's but but steve he's gonna be in it like all throughout the whole thing this guy and i just shot another scene with him to to, to make him a little happy for that's cutting the many, other scene that's too many scenes dude it's too many scenes uh, anyway all right anyway oh listen 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 yeah um yeah i got like, some some great people coming up on state of mind but I got something I'm so happy about that I'm shooting on Saturday, but it's not, I don't want it, to, you know, I don't want it to be Zoom, but I have to be Zoom because I like, I like talking right in front of with people, but it's a, it's a girl that has cerebral palsy and she's 19, man. And mm. she, she doesn't talk. She, she looks at the computer and then that's how she, so she has enough. Like, she has another way of communicating. Yeah, it's like right. she'll look and then she'll go, Wow, that's hi, incredible. how are you? The computer goes, Hi, how like Stephen Hawkins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm shooting, wow. I'm doing her, I'm doing her Saturday, and I'm very I'm very happy about that. Very because I already interviewed her for something else. Cool. And as I was doing it, I said, Hey, you want to do she's a big GH fan. That's awesome. Except she doesn't like Jason. But Who? then I said, there, there's a lot of people I've heard that like, I know it's weird. Yeah, it's, it's weird. weird. But yeah, she likes you. She likes you, though. It's get weird. closer Thank to you. your mic, Bradford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, yeah, yeah that's try me. try that because you've only done a podcast for seventy four years. You think you get yeah, that's funny. Right. So on the hey, short, what the hell's going on with Bradford? He's he, looking handsome. And, what, what is he doing? Cutting his hair or what? No, he he lost he lost about ten pounds, dude. I put him on a plan. Oh, because he looks good and like know. a boat. Is. Yeah, watch dude. out now, Spinelli. Out. Oh Look my out. goodness. <laughs> Is that what it is? Just the weight? Yeah, he lost weight in his face, dude. It's awesome. When he cut his hair, did some. Yeah, he looks. Yeah, good, my man. hair's a little bit shorter. And looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, things are tell working us, for me. Thanks, Mo. Thanks for noticing. I'm so. Fine. No, I just I looked at you and I said, "Tell us, tell us how Damn. this, how this birthday presentation went from a possible movie to what yeah. it is to kind of what it is now." So people people know what to expect. Okay, what happened was. I was, uh, I thought of a cool idea of a, like a boy comes to a, a gangster and says, can you find out who killed my parents? And he doesn't know that the gangster killed his parents. Mm. So I wanted to do something like that. And I had this, this great. With, jo with Joshua though, you wanted. For yeah. Joshua. With Joshua, right? Son. Yeah. Yeah. So we shot a whole day, but you know, my, my genius filmmaker here is a, is a music video guy director so yeah. he was kind of learning on the job so we were having problems with sound so we did it one weekend didn't work and you know then we did another weekend and kind of but he but but i knew that he he could do it visually and looks great right so but i didn't know he'd learn this fast so we decided to well paula did because they were all getting crazy with my family and me and they're like what are you doing and this is not gonna work and like oh man <laughs> so they said, Paula said, why don't you uh, make this into a fun thing and there will be no pressure on you to be a movie and do it that way. And just do a bunch of scenes and things with your friends. Yeah, with with actors who I want in there. And uh, so we did we, we started doing it. And, and what, what started happening, which is interesting, is Serge started learning real fast and getting better. We started getting really good at cutting and editing. And yeah, in the yeah. beginning, it was tough and this and that. It was sound was a big problem. Sure. Oh, yeah, my God, dude, sound. It always is. Oh, it's tough. It's tough when you got a bunch of people in a scene. So I went out and got some stuff this, this week. And now, this, thank God for Steve, but he didn't have any, you know, whatever, whatever Steve's doing in it. Yeah. And so we made it into this fun project. And I'm very... uh happy steve's thing looks some people that have seen it he looks like the terminator it's fantastic <laughs> and i have people, paula people in have it. says he is a bit robotic yes i am a robot yeah the dude the, you know the problem that steve has is he's just getting way too big and it's so looking stupid, dude you're no, so no. dumb <laughs> i'm not joking dude it's on, just not on. looking right it's almost looking kind of uh what are you like talking a, like, about? Like he's Arnold Schwarzenegger. <sighs> I'm yeah. an actor, but it's just too big, I think, for an actor. That's not that's true. Okay. Tiny, tiny waist, big chest. All right. The Thank proportions you, are really. Looks I like an hourglass. That. But it's I did. Really I did weird. post thighs. I, huge thighs. Not really. I did post. Oh. The, I post a pic, the, Mo. Of, oh, you. Of me. Yeah, uh, great. Me by the by by Serge's motorcycle. It um, looks good, right? Oh, it looks amazing, dude. It looks great. Yeah, you look. And the, and, the, yeah, and, the, you, and, and the thing you sent me looks great. So I don't even know what this whole thing is. I know you sent me clips a little bit here and there because you got some like Dominic's in it, Kin's in it, uh, some more Reals in it, some more people are in it. And it looks amazing. And I'm yeah, excited. Yeah, dude, that, just that to... trailer, that trailer you put out of that little preview. That's of his movie. deal, man. Yeah, that's cool, dude. That's, that's awesome. Serge over there. You know, look, it's, it's uh, the, the thing is, it's not what people may think it's going to be. It's because it's uh it's kind of a comedy. It's just fun. Yeah, it's fun. It's not yeah, like oh, Marie's trying to be. It's and we did some stuff. <laughs> I mean, we just crazy today. I did a scene with with Mudge, and he <laughs> and he said, "I'm sorry." And in the scene, I said, "Sorry means never. Love means never having to say you're sorry." That's a movie called Love Story back in the 1970s. <laughs> I was going to leave it all in, but I had to cut the, the movie. Nobody's going to know, but who cares? How, we just... how fun is it to improv, though? Like, how oh, fun it's is fantastic. It? It's the best, right? Because when we did our little thing yesterday, you guys didn't even know what, what you were really talking about. 
No. You know, and you just started talking, making it up yeah. on your, you know, on the, on the I have it all my, in my head. And great. then, and you know, what's, uh, I used, uh, Victoria Gotti for a scene on, on Skype. That's amazing. Oh, and I, and she doesn't, she doesn't really do a lot, but, but she was like, did it. And it's mysterious. And she's a good actress. That's awesome. I, I was like, man, you can act. Cause she was like, what are you going to, you know, I was like, Whoa, okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to use Jeff today. Oh yeah. Jeff Cober. Yeah. For something. And, yeah. uh, and I got Brian Craig and so it's, it's, it's all fun. And Ian's funny Ian Buchanan. Oh, Ian's awesome, dude. Yeah. <sighs> So, you know, so Brad Bradford was gonna we were gonna do something together. But yeah, Bradford, I had a whole thing scheduled, and then Steve said I don't want them. And I'm like, what do you mean you don't want them? <laughs> I had it all, it was so funny. Listen, Bradford, it was you and Steve, and then you were gonna be the tough guy, right? And then, like, st yeah. like Steve would open his mouth and you'd go, Shut up. <laughs> it was amazing. It, it would have been that would have been great. Yeah, but Steve right. said that you 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 didn't want to do it or you well, know it was when we were what? down no where, dude he lives in sacramento bro well, but we, i don't was, care if he lives in africa why wouldn't he do it <laughs> <laughs> it's sonny's birthday bitch <laughs> that's what you should call it it's sonny's birthday bitch <laughs> yeah there you go perfect that's we great. swore a little bit too but oh. it's cool yeah just uh, no whatever man it's gonna be good whatever so well, we can we can um, save we can save that scene for something for something else because yeah. that's a that's a great hey. concept Okay, Bradford, let me explain to you. Yeah. Here's what I wanted with you, and it, it, it was in my head. And Steve didn't want to go for it, I don't think. But this is, here's you, what you I start, wanted you, you to quit lying. No, 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 I'm, I'm dead serious on this. I was on joking this one. before. Okay. Yeah. You're serious. Now. I wanted you at my house, and you guys like come up with, with cowboy hats. Cowboy hats, you're right. And you come up to me, we, and I'm the gangster guy, and you're the tough guy. And yeah. then you and my and you and my just start fighting. With a cowboy <laughs> hat. I've I, I've never I I I I I look the toughest in a cowboy hat for sure. That's Let me tell you, not true. That all. would have been hilarious. Oh, Steve been... at one time was a rhinestone cowboy, I believe. Sure, I love rhinestones, but it would have been awesome if Bradford came in just with chaps oh. on and a hat and got off mm. a horse. Oh, oh don't even tell me because now I get all crazy. Oh man. Because I you know, Bradford, what I wanted with this, because it's my style or my my taste of what I like. I yeah. wanted this to be uh humor, but real. Sure. So yeah, if yeah, I yeah. heard if I heard anybody acting or I'd stop the thing, no, that's not good. So I wanted it to be in in it in an improv, so then it becomes kind of like real stuff that's funny, sure. not um, and that's what we got in it. So that's I, awesome. there's a scene that's with, so with funny, Real, man. with Real, where I call him Mike Tyson. <laughs> Cause he talks like, he talks like that, you know? Yeah, does he have a high voice? He does. That's all. Awesome. And then Ian, Ian goes, <laughs> Ian goes, don't make fun of my friend. Don't make fun of my friend. <laughs> oh, dude. That's amazing. Well, I can't well, wait to see so, this thing. And so this is going to be, be on, this is going to yeah. be on YouTube. Uh, this is, a, this is going to air two days after it's on YouTube. So if you All haven't right. seen it, go to YouTube, check out Maurice's birthday celebration presentation. It's Whatever. my birthday. What is the name? And, and Maurice, what's the name of your YouTube page? Is it MB state of mind or what is it? Yeah. MB state of mind. <laughs> and, uh, we're going to put up around six o'clock and I'm going to do a, uh, uh, YouTube live. Yes. Awesome. Dur during it. Awesome, dude. And there's a bunch of people, I guess, said happy birthday. So we'll put that up first and then we'll do the. That's awesome, the, dude. The thing. Cool. Looking forward yeah. to it. Now let's just switch gears just for a sec. Uh, Cause we're going to talk about general hospital a little bit. So I have a few questions for you. Um, last time I saw you, you fell off a bridge. Yeah. And, and uh, how, how far exactly down river did they find you? Do you know? Uh, yeah, it was about like 85 miles down the river that I, that I kind of swam and then, <laughs> right. and then, and then I ended up in the snow. All right. So good. You were preserved. Yeah. And I'm, I, you know, since I'm sunny, 
I don't get hyperthermia. I don't get anything. Right. I just kind of swim. So you swam and, and you just crawled up to the, the, the river bank in the yeah. snow and a cop, yeah. found, like a cop, a, a state trooper found you, right? Or somebody like that? Oh yeah. A state trooper found me and I just played that I had a headache. Oh yeah. He didn't ask for ID or anything. I don't remember. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what don't you remember? Who are Whether you? Now? He, he who didn't. Are you, who are you on the show? Oh, I'm Mike. You're Mike. Mike. Okay. Yes. And now what's Mike, Mike, what's Mike doing on the show? Mike is, uh, Mike is, he's uh, a janitor kind of guy in the, in a bar. And he has these two people there who took him in. Who are awesome, and, by the way. Huh? Oh said, God. They're, uh, they're, they're just great. Yeah. And I'm having a great time. You know, it's just that awesome. the audience is like, go back to thing. Cause you know, here's what I say. Look, but the, but I'm doing something now that I really love. I won't tell you what it is because I'll get in trouble. But sure. It's, you know, but the audience is like this. Here's the way it works, I think, because I've been on the show for you know a couple of years. Uh, when you have uh, Jason and Carly crying for Sonny to come home, like sure. the song, Sonny Come Home. Is that the way? Yes, and whatever. Uh, you have them crying, and then you have me over here playing like, the sweetest guy, huh? <laughs> in, 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 a, in a bar sweeping floors. Yeah. yeah. The audience is like, we don't want that. We want him to go back. <laughs> yeah, sure. Right? Uh -huh. But I will say this. I'm having fun. I yeah. love it. I'm working with two wonderful actors. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's different. And what I have coming up that the audience hasn't seen, it's, I didn't think it was going to be so fun. Great. Awesome. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. I know. That's, look, people yeah. don't like change, but as an yeah. actor, it's fun to mix it up and just take, take the sunny suit off and be someone else for a little while. I mean, yeah. I, and you know, this, I haven't talked about much. It's really kind of, uh, cause I'm kind of, I think Steve and I, had this conversation before I started that I was just going to play now the way to change it was to just, you know, cause in any character that I play it to me, how you do it is by energy. You got to change mm -hmm. energy and however you do that, whether you don't use your hands, whether you, you talks a little slower and that's so for this guy, I think Steve and I had talked about it. Um, because now Steve tells me what to do and everything I do is ridiculous. <laughs> That's not I, I told it. him what to do for 20 years. Now it's like, yeah, you're not doing that right. <laughs> so hey, don't be jealous. I'm just playing me, Maurice, but even in the nicer version than Maurice. And it's not difficult. It's it's actually pretty, it's easier. It's easy. And I mean, it's easier than John Gotti or anything else. And it's just playing me. So Lately, I've been like laughing and smiling and doing so, something else. So what you're saying is interesting, right? Because you're playing a heightened version of Maurice Bernard as the nice guy, the happy Maurice, right? Yeah. So what happens if you're having one of your down days? Right? Because if you have a down day, if you oh, feel yeah, I've been there. Yeah, if you feel emotionally down, it was easy for you to play Sonny because you could just play that. Yeah, that's a, that's a good, that's a good question. You know, I, that happened to me once with Carol, bless her heart, my friend who passed away. Um, I was in depression and I was, and I had to do a scene where I was real happy. Yeah. And I did it and they said, Maurice, can you do it again? Just, uh, I did it. And then Maurice, could you do it again? So then Carol came out and said, listen, you need to be, I said, Carol, you're my friend and I'm very depressed. That's his only, that's as far as I can give you. She was, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's difficult. So, now you, you're saying a bad day, not depression or anxiety. Well, I'm just saying now being Mike, since you're playing this heightened, happy Sonny or Maurice, yeah. have, have you had a day where you were kind of no. down? No, you I've been happy as, I've that's been awesome. happy as, I've been happy as hell. I'm, al I'm, I'm breathing and I'm alive, man. Good for you, and, man, that's awesome. I mean, I'm sure I'm going to have a bad day, but uh, sure. so so far I haven't. But Great. if you have a bad day, you can go in and fake it as much as you can. 
Right. Sure. Uh, but you're right. The good, the, the question was good. Not that your questions are good, but that question was good because, in particular. Yeah. <laughs> because, <laughs> Don't because it, you know, what saved me as Sonny was in being uh, bipolar and anxiety and depression. What saved me is you're right. I could always just bring all that ugliness into Sonny and the audience would be like, oh, that's Sonny. Right. So it worked. It worked. Yeah, right. Um, you know, it's when I have to play something different. Uh, I had a bad day when I played, you know, in Nightmare Cinema, I had to play a priest and I had a bad day. So, so hard. Mm. So hard, man. Because I had to do these priest lines and things. And Right. Anyway, any other decent questions you have? Yeah, I, I, I would, saw yeah, I, ahead, I saw on I saw on Twitter someone uh, and I think it might have been you that retweeted it a scene of you as Nico and all my children. Um, <laughs> well, but it was funny because speaking of carefree, you were being like this. There was this older gentleman telling you. Oh that, yeah, yeah, and, and you were like, "Lay off, man! I'm a wild and crazy guy." Like, <laughs> it was, it was kind of like that. And <laughs> you can't control me. I'm gonna do what I want, Mister. Um, it was like, and it was just so funny to see you um, in that, like, obviously as a much younger, younger person that, but it was like much, much younger, <laughs> well, that's yeah. not what I mean. but like, but you know what that kind you, of youthful, you know youthful what Bradford, Colorado. yeah, well, I just saw that scene too on Twitter. And you know what? I first thing I th uh, thought of myself, I was terrified with nerves. Mm. Uh, Ooh, every look. These nerves of mine, because of, I have, only in the last five years or so have I not had the nerves that I used to have. When okay. you and I used to work, Steve, I was like. <laughs> right, but, yeah, but yeah. you going to do a different project, like when yeah. you went to do Gotti, right? No, For example. terrible. Yeah, so, terrible. But did your nerves come back once you got on set there? Yeah, I was nervous as fuck. every, well, I was, you know, you know the story. She no, I know the story, but I'm saying it's easy not to have nerves when you play Sonny for 30 years, right? No, but, I had nerves, dude. So, but Sonny when you go it. off and do these other projects, do you still get that kind of butterflies before you start? I'll let you know if I, if I get butterflies, the next job I get, but. Yeah, I hear it might um, be an awesome one. Go ahead. It looks like it, yeah. Um. Yeah, dude, you know why? Because I'm not, I, I maybe I, I'm better now, but I, I've always don't like the feeling of the new boy in school. Mm. Mm, yeah, yeah. Because when I used to go to different, I'd be like, no. So every time I have a job outside of the sofa, it's like, you know, you don't get treated great. Sure. <laughs> I mean, I mean I'll, hey, man. I'm Sonny. <laughs> and they're like, Sonny. They're like, who? They look at you like, even when I did Gotti, it was like, oh, hi. <laughs> and then, and then what you have to do inevitably, like I've said before, you like the way I just said inevitably? Yeah, I like what you that have word. to do, what you have to do, this is what I tell people, which is what I do. Every job that I do, I have to prove myself again. So what I do is there's always a scene that you go in and every scene there is one, Gotti or uh, anything, where you do something and everybody gets quiet. Mm -hmm. Then you're like, all right, they're, they're like, yeah, this guy's the real deal now. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. but before that, it's like, yeah, I'm still waiting for that quietness. Hey, we, you said up until about five <laughs> years ago, so. At GH, so even at GH, 20, 25 years into yeah. it, you were still getting butterflies. Was it re was it about was it regarding the material, or no. was it what was it? Well, the, there was one <laughs> like when Steve, like when Jason and Carly were against me. It was just a lot of pressure, and, and oh, you're I, so dumb, dude. No, <laughs> I, know, I know what you're doing. I oh, now you're looking up and faking everything. No, no, no. There was a lot of pressure during that period because my problem is I'm just so, and plus ego, you know, ego is a big deal, but so competitive. And I mm. felt like 
I wasn't, it was hard for me to win this fight with, mm. without, you had, who, hey, J- what was that? I don't you know. Okay? What that was. Yeah, that was good. Jason. That was like Vinnie had- Barberino. That was like, <laughs> that was a little Travolta in there somehow. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Jason had Carly, the whole town, the quarter mains, and who did Sonny have? No one. <laughs> I don't even know what story you're talking about. Okay. There was many stories, but the story where, <laughs> where I was with uh, Nat, what's her name? Natalia. What was the oh, character? Yeah. Oh, Emily. Did they, go did ahead. They, go did... ahead. Call me what you were going to, because I was watching the documentary last night. Emily. Yeah. But what were you calling me during that time? I don't know. What was I calling you? Woody Allen. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, funny. That's <laughs> I was watching the documentary on Woody Allen. That's, that's funny. So, so did, you know, it was tough. Main, the quarter mains didn't want her to date you. And so, you no. Made- and then J- Jason's in there and now. And now Carly's in Jay, you know, and Jason and Carly are basically, yeah, basically lovers. No, I mean, we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're so, we're friends, man. She's my BFF. Okay. Yeah, BFF. hey you know now that sonny's dead it's going to be interesting to see what happens but uh (laughs) but that's the truth fwb fwb what's that friends friends with ben what friends with what (laughs) (laughs) don't get this guy out of roll dude just don't get this guy out of roll there's a lot of letters you could throw in there there sure is there sure is (laughs) i have a laugh like this but you're having fun though, dude, huh? On the show. Yeah, I'm having a good time, man. I'm having a real good time. Good dude. It's all good. And, and dude, it, it's like watching, you know, watching your creativity come out through your YouTube page and yeah, it's well, awesome, man. It, it's awesome. It's really cool. Yeah, thank you, man. No, yeah. it just see it just seems like Mo, because I've known you for a long time, that things are like everything's clicking on kind of all cylinders. And some of those cylinders are new, you know, with you doing a lot of Instagram and state of mind, you're doing YouTube, you're creating content. Yeah. Now you're in this creative space outside of GH, which I love that you're in this yeah. creative space outside you, the show, you know. But you know, my problem always has been in the past. And I think I shouldn't even bring it up, but I will just because it's important for people to listen to this this thing that I had that I've always had. You know, but that's kind of life. When great things are happening, you're waiting for the shoe to drop. Sure. Because it, in it, with me, especially, it's always like, okay, you're going to get this. And now you're going to, uh, you're going to go have anxiety for, you know, it, it, why can't it just, but maybe if we just live in the moment, mm, love that. And not think about what happened or the, what's going to happen and just live in the moment. That's when you really find your joy. I think for me, I can speak for myself because if I start thinking, because you, for, when you first said that things are going great, I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm like, okay, what's going to happen? Yeah. Right. Um, but we shouldn't do that. We should live right, right here, you know, right in the now. I mean, that's great. I mean, just, you know, considering your past and stuff, that's awesome advice anyway, but you know, getting older too, that's what I'm trying to do. And I know Bradford, we're trying to always be present and not worry about what's coming up, not worry about what happened, you know, being there with your kids, being there for your wife, being there with your friends, just enjoying what we did yesterday, Maurice, you and I, you know, just shooting, yep. sh- shooting your little, little scene that we did. Yeah. Yeah. Office. Yeah, exactly. I don't you know? think you have that, that problem. I you do, do with of. certain ways, but not like with me, yeah. it, you know, what that kind of thing that I have, or had and trying to get through it, it takes me to a bad place. Mm-hmm. It's not just like, oh, I need to, you know, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna get money to pay the rent or this? Or that? It takes me to this, uh, this thing. because when I'm, uh, you, if you continue to live in the moment, you, I won't allow myself to get to that. Yeah, you won't go down that rabbit hole if you're just focusing yeah. on what's in front of you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Wow. And Bradford doesn't seem like he has any freaking problems. And that kind of stuff. No, no, I'm, I'm dead serious. That kind of, uh, it's like. Just alcohol. I, just luck. Oh, he is. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He it's loves just alcohol. lucky to be, to have people. Steve, this is another thing. People don't understand. I mean, I know you go through some stuff, but, you know, and I, you know, I've been through some stuff, but people mm-hmm. don't understand how lucky they are just to be 
pretty much laughing and happy. Sure. That's a, that's the greatest <laughs> without well, having to be trapped in this mind. Right. Yeah. Well, you know yeah. what, Maurice, there is a, I, you know, I'm probably on closer to the other end of the spectrum where, uh, in my personal life, I not that in touch with in the past, I'm getting better at it. Not that in touch with my emotional life. Like uh. I can, I can, I can, like, I remember in, in an acting class, some, you know, basically the, the teacher was getting us to name the emotion that we're feeling name, you know, name it. Where are you? How, how are you? Name it. And I was like, oh, I, I couldn't, I don't, I couldn't name my emotions. Like I just don't have, the, but if someone tells me to play an emotion and feel it and do it organically, I can do that. But how's Bradford doing? Shit. I don't, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm good. I'm, I don't, you don't need to worry about me. I'm good. Like, like I, uh Oh, so, I see a, I see a state of mind happening here. <laughs> I, so, I, I, I see, I see Maurice diving deeper and we're going to crack uh -oh. open Spinelli. But, but that's an interesting, like, so. But I does your wife help you out? Well, yeah, because she was like, like, you can't just be fine. Well, you can't just be like yes, good all the time. Yes. You can't just be good all the time. No. Like, I, I, when we've like, if I'm angry about something and something's real is happening between us and you're just okay, that pisses me off. And what pisses wow. you off? And I'm like, nothing really pisses me off. And she's like, that's not great. Do you and know what I mean? That's not like, true. But but is exactly. it genu genuinely that nothing pisses you off? No. Uh, a little, well, I mean, certain things, uh, things that I can't control frustrate me and that can bring me to anger. But things that are sad, things that are, um, I, I can rationalize so quickly. Um, mm -hmm that I, I rationalize past the, the reactive emotion that is, that is granted. Like I, I should have an emotion to this, but I've, ra I've rationalized it so quickly and I've just become okay with it so quickly that the emotion that would be natural to have, it's, I don't have it. Well, what happens to the emotion, even though you rationalize it? Well, in high school, I would bottle it up and then I'd, I'd have panic attacks in high school or like anxiety uh -huh. attacks. Um, and it would be a, a huge release and it would be great, but it would happen like once every four or five months. Um, and then when I got older, it stopped happening, but I, I, I didn't get better at it, but I'm getting better at it now and seeing what a, what a detriment it was to relationships and stuff in the past. Um, oh, yeah. So it's, it's interesting because I, you know, when, when I hear you guys talk and where um, um, emotions kind of take control of you, uh, you know, that, that's a, that's a simple way of saying it, but, um, and emotions, I have to work to, to feel sometimes. Dang. Yeah. So it's interesting, Maurice, cause I know you've talked to a lot of people, right. About yeah. this stuff. My family was always tell it to your face always out in the open, always yelling at each other. There was no sweeping anything under the rug ever. And my wife's right. family's completely opposite. Bottled up, sweep it under the rug, don't address it. And I'm like, I'd rather be kind of have the background where I'm from. Where yeah. Everything gets laid out on the table and you can move on, right? You get your emotion out, whatever. It might not always be a great outcome during the, during that time, but like, to get it out for me, you know me how how I struggled yeah. with a lot of anger back back then. Yeah. So it was important for me to get that stuff out. I, I can't imagine keeping it bottled up. You know, I have more control yeah. over it now for sure. But that's interesting. But there's that's you know, uh, ultimately the happy medium is where you want to be, right? Of course, sure. Right. But the, but but bottling up that's what I did is horrible. Yeah. Because yeah. because uh, that's what I and then you know even when I had my first breakdown. I just believe that was all explosion of emotion and crying all the time. Cause I had to build I, for, for 21 years, I bottled it up, bottled it up, bottled it up. So when I finally, that happened, then it just, I just, woo, like a, like a, you know, a faucet. Yeah. But the yelling and stuff, they do it. They do it. Um, but it's better, but it's not, it's not eventually, a great way to communicate. No, eventually that's going to get you too somehow. But the bottling, like your your wife's family. Yeah, I know it's crazy. 
I know. Yeah. yeah. And Both Bradford, we might have to get Bradford on State of Mind because I, I I'm love this. In, this would be amazing. I'm interested. Yeah, I'm kind of interested in his thing. I, I just, yeah. I got to figure <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome, dude. Because be, be I thought he was just like happy and good, and well, but, but I that's am. another problem that he has. Yeah, it, well, it, it is. It, it's not. A, it's not an unpleasant state of being. It's just no. you're all, you're not functioning. It, it's not the full human experience, though. Because you're not honest, right? With your right, but it doesn't. It doesn't necessarily feel that way. It just feels like oh, it you, it, it it's almost that's like a, a trick. Yeah, it is. But but you're not experiencing things to the depth in that they that they deserve to be experienced, you know. But you don't have any other problems. Not that I know. Because of that. After state of mind, we can ask that question again. And yeah. this, this, when, this, when I'm this. carrying him out of the room, we'll ask that question. <laughs> like, buddy, you okay? Yeah. You okay, buddy? Because I feel now I'm starting to be a lot more like Bradford, where I'm just like. People want to argue with me and I stressed and I don't want to get any, I don't want stress. Yeah. So I don't get upset. I don't get angry. And if I, a thought comes of, you know, something, I, I go to another thought. I don't, and I'm just living. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Right. So, the, so Mo, the, when you do state of mind with him, the interesting thing for me, just hearing Bradford talk, cause obviously we talk every day, but the interesting thing is that he had the panic attacks and then either his mind and body, he tricked his mind and body into not having them. There, w- there was a point where he stopped having them, but he still didn't feel the emotion that was going on. He just kind of leapt over that emotion and kept going. Right. So that's, that's, what's interesting. Yeah. But if he kept it, it, listen, not, not to, but I think if he, if he keeps going and he had a lot of stress in his life, bad marriage and maybe drinking and stuff, he'd have panic attacks again. Sure. Well, right. I think actually part, one of the things that was certainly helped me was the, the career. Like I'd yeah. go off for yeah. at a time and have a little bubble life, meet new people, perform and yes. get to emote and yeah. get to, you know, and like, and have, and have an emotional life, have play someone else's emotional life. And and that's that true. Didn't that's make interesting. Re- like, so when when you think about it, like, oh, I don't, I don't have a huge emotional life in my personal life. You don't think about that because you're very dramatic. Yeah, and you're your, playing it, playing the emotion. And and my my energy is uh, usually a higher energy, and I'm you know like so people don't think of me as not having f- like being emotive, um, and especially when they see me play like a tragic character or something. But like, I, it's like. Yeah, it's it's like I, I have the emotional vocabulary for characters, but I don't use that vocabulary for myself. Well, I'm gonna if when we do state of mind, I'll I'll get into some stuff with you, like awesome man that, that I don't want to get into now, but I'll, sure. I'll ask you some stuff and it'll be good. Fun, um, cool. I'd, I'd love that. I'd love that. Yeah, it'd be yeah. fun. Yeah. Well, everybody, this is the king of daytime, Maurice Bernard, and it's right. his birthday. So happy birthday, Maurice happy Bernard. Happy birthday, Mo. And uh, we're looking forward to your, your project. I can't wait to see it. And, uh, of course, I'll see you uh, very soon at work and everywhere else. All right. Thank Love you, guys. Man. Thank you, buddy. That was fun, brother. That was yeah, fun. Yeah, buddy. Always. Thanks, always. All right. All right.